Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the 2022 Myrtle Beach Open, presented by Gatekeeper Media, driven by Innova. We are here at the Splinter City Course in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm Holly Finley. And I'm Felix with Ace Run Productions. Excited to bring you this feature card for round one from the Splinter City Disc Golf Course out here in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Fun course, it's only been open, I think this is its third year. So a lot of work has gone in to make this happen. And on this FPO feature card, we will see Miss Rebecca Cox. And of course, yourself, Holly Finley, Bell Buckle, Tennessee, representing Innova Champion Discs. Deanne Carey from Shelby, North Carolina, Team Innova. And Jessica Beckett, who is a bit of a local, used to play this course quite a bit, moved away, but still knows the courses very well. Here we are on hole one. What a great starter hole. 321 feet par three. You have a main fairway on the right here. If you send your drive just straight, let the disc do the work, you can have a hyzer flare skip into the green and get yourself a birdie putt. Oftentimes, being the first hole, you might saw off your drive, cut through these trees, and find yourself with an outside the circle putt, too. We are live on T-Pad 1. Live on T-Pad 1. Welcome to the 2022 Myrtle Beach Open. DJ Heck Yeah leading us off here. Great hype man to get this card. tournament started. This is a power stack card. Welcome these women with loud applause and welcome to T-Pad 1, Rebecca Cox. Yeah. Rebecca leading us off here to get things started. This is a, a good hole to start. It's a good distance. You're not having to worry about throwing something kind of shorter, more technical. You can kind of open up here on your first drive. Rebecca sends it into the shul, but she gets a little kick and she'll be slightly Welcome off the fairway. Welcome to one, Holly Finley. Holly, what are you throwing here on this first tee? Star Katana. Looking for a strong left finish. Hopefully some flare skip. Center cut right down that right side, like you said. And a little bit of finish back towards the basket. Welcome that green there, as you can one, see, is a little sandy. Carey. So sometimes it kind of negates the skip to get into the actual basket. It sure does. Damn, looking a touch higher and a little bit more hyzer. And throwing an end of a distance driver. Rounding out our card, Jessica Beckett. She finds herself inside of circle one here, and we have Jessica Beckett. We haven't had her on coverage before. I'm wondering if she's feeling any kind of nerves from being on camera. She has a nice hyzer shot. Doesn't get much ground action like you mentioned, but she'll have an easy look at it for up and down. Yeah. Back here just off on the right hand side, looks like her approach disc here, the slammer. It's got the black and orange Halloween theme still going. Yeah, pretty cool. Few options here. It looks like a turnover for Jessica. And that was about as smooth as it gets. So floaty and touchy, really impressive. Oh, just off the front cage there. Great 
great putt from Rebecca to save par. Solid scramble to start. Absolutely. Deanne with a birdie look here from about 25, 28. Beautiful start. Deanne Carey with a birdie here on hole one. That's what you're looking for. Absolutely. Hole actually averaged exactly 3.0 for this round, so played true to its numbers. Nice tap and par there. Stress free. That's what I like. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> All right, so Deanne jumping out to an early one-stroke lead here on the card. We come into hole two, a par four, 534 feet. This is a straight shot mostly. You can try to push the right side here on your initial drive to get on the line here or path to the actual basket. But it can get you into trouble. Most players are just going to throw something straight mid-range or fairway driver and then give themselves an approach here into this green. There is out-of-bounds long behind the basket. Usually it doesn't come into play though, but definitely one you want to try to get the birdie on here. Deanne Carey starting us off here on hole two. Choosing an end of a mid-range with a slight turnover. Hoping to land right past the corner and have an open look into the green. She does just that. Beautiful execution there. Rebecca a little lower. Oh, and gets a nasty root kick back to the left, and that's going to pinch her off a little bit. Little left hand side there. Gets a favorable bounce out, though, from that tree. Jessica Beckett sends it through the middle with a slight flippy disc, does a nice lazy S shot and lands right in the middle. Had a late turn to it, whatever that disc was. That yeah. was nice. So you've got a couple options here. You can pitch back out or you can try to cut the corner here. There's a gap in the top of the trees. Personal rule, Felix, you get one superwoman per <laughs> round, and I used it up on hole two. All right. So we'll see safe Holly the rest of the way? Exactly. <laughs> Becca's going to line up a nice upshot here through the main fairway. Lots of turns starting to fizzle out a bit, but stays clear of all the shul on the left, which is very important here. And this is a par four, so she's still looking at getting up and down for par. Absolutely. Jessica could go for a little bit further, but she's actually in a very usable position. As long as that doesn't get too strong of a left finish. That's I not mean, bad. She's got a jumper. Yeah. She'll have a clear look from there. Deanne with the best positioning of all. Need some left hand on that, and here it comes. Again, well inside the circle. Set up for a birdie three. So we're trying to figure out where exactly your disc ended up after hitting one of these high branches. Able to find it and pitch back out to the middle. It can get so thick in there. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. <laughs> Beautiful approach there. This is Rebecca Cox's third shot. Nice floaty up. Mm -hmm. Jessica with the gap. It's going to fade out a little early on her, but that's fine. Like you said, a par four. We've got Deanne Carey, current leader, putting for birdie. She gets it. Two, two. two birdies in a row. Absolutely. It's the start we all want. Straight 
strong putt from Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Rebecca made some changes to her putting stance and her style pretty recently, and it's and the speed too. Yes, it's looking way more confident. I agree. Very strong. The drop in there for you, limiting the damage after going into that <laughs> that thick stuff on the right. Narnia. It really <laughs> <you> was. <laughs> Here we are on hole three, 333, 330 feet, <laughs> par three. You've got a couple of fairways to choose from. I like the right fairway simply because it's double the size of the left fairway. You can just send it straight to the right corner pocket with a slight disc that finishes left and get yourself a birdie putt. It's easy to send it too hard to the right side and sort of end up in the bushes on the right so you really want to make sure that you're penetrating deep into the forest instead of trying to like hyzer chop it to the basket if that makes any sense Tian gets caught up on the right side a bit a little lower but I like the line there there is a lot of ground play at these courses, so even a low mistake can still get you 60 to 80 feet. That looks a little sawed off inside. It's a big flare forward. I agree. I feel like she wasn't trying to choose the left gap. Yeah. Beautiful little slow hyzer flip on that right side. And there's that ground play you talked about. Putting you just outside the circle, it looks like. Deanne with her invader here, another approach disc. She picked a small window and she hit it. Wow, that was a tight gap. It was. She's good at that. She's from North Carolina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to be there. <laughs> Jessica showing some versatility there with a little flick out of the rough. Rebecca Cox with a birdie putt. Bit on the right side, but that'll be the easy par for her. Long look for Holly, and she centers it for the birdie. Getting our first run back of the round here. That couldn't have been any more center. It was a 35, about 35, 38 feet. Beautifully done. One of only two birdies on the day on this hole. Yourself and Paige Shu picking up the two on this hole. Beckett's putt does not connect. Now we have Deanne Carey to save par. Nicely done. Deanne's always been such a strong putter, and I think this year you're kind of seeing more of that. She's getting recognition more for being a strong putter on tour. Jess taps in the bogey here on hole three. Alright, that brings us to hole four, a par three, a fun one at 296 feet. You see the fairway there up the middle. This hole does bend gently from left to right. However, you don't necessarily need to throw a turning shot. A straight shot will give you a look at the actual birdie here. It's just a matter of avoiding these center trees, which tend to knock down the turnover shots. So a pretty specific type of angle you need coming off of your hand to get this one. Forehand is also a play on this as well. Like we're lining up the turnover line here. Just misses that tree. Oh, this is going to be good. Holly Finley 
What a shot. Putting it well inside the circle. Beautiful line. Dan Carey up next, also choosing the slight turnover. It's going a bit hard on the right side, but she stays out of the woods and she'll have a putt for birdie. Back up a little lower with the Maverick. Stays in the fairway though, doesn't really get into too much trouble there. Jessica with a nice turnover shot, but it is going to finish mm -hmm. out. Ooh, but that, she'll have a birdie look. That log in those last set of brushes there just saved her from going in a little further. And Becca decides to lay it up for par. <laughs> She's not too happy, but... No one likes to take their medicine on those shots. Oh, Jessica gives it a mm -hmm. go. Deanne from well inside circle two. Long jump. Nails it. Another run back. Let's see that. Back to back holes. Deanne Carey with the jumper here on hole four, canning a long birdie. That had to be about 50. Absolutely. She misses the fist bump, though. We miss the fist bump, <laughs> but we make it up later. From birdie yourself here. Beautiful. Back to back birdies for you, Holly. That's got to feel good. Oh, yeah. There you go. There There's it the is. Fist bump. Can't walk off with an unconnected fist bump. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like when you're practice putting and you don't make all the putts. You can't walk you away until back. you make them all. Yeah. You never leave on a miss, folks. Absolutely. Never leave on a miss. Deanne Carey still in the lead. Hole five, a par four, 609 feet. You've got a very wide fairway to work with. Just follow the road as far as you can. If you get a left finish out of your flight, that is preferred because it gives you a look at the basket. The more on the right you land, the more pinched off and the more of a turnover or a hyzer sidearm you're going to have to do. Uh, this is a three-able hole for our division and these being elite players, I'm expecting to see some threes here. Pushing that right side there, just needs a little left finish. And that sand. Mm hmm. No skip from the sand. Just ate it up, yeah. Deanne Carey with an end of a distance driver right down the middle. It's Ooh. the road skip. No sand needed for that one. Extra goodness from the road? Absolutely. Becca with her grace, which is her distance driver. That's looking great. Very similar line to Deanne. Gets the flare off the road. Great use of the road. And look out, Deanne. <laughs> Coming in here, trying to play disc golf. <laughs> Jessica Beckett sends it down the right side, mm -hmm. getting a nice left finish with a road flare skip. Back over to the left. And she'll be just enough away from the woods to give her a nice open up shot. Mm -hmm. Jessica probably still looking at about 300 to the basket, and that's turning over a little too early. Oh, what a friendly kick out. So favorable. Wow. Thank you, Disc Golf Gods. <laughs> She'll still be able to play for par from there. Yeah, what a... I mean, that was going to be a big-time pinch shot, and now she's got a wide-open look. Big turn over here from the right side. Still rolling. It's always fun to see what happens at the finish of the flight when <laughs> yeah. you have no idea. <laughs> now we've got Deanne Carey with her second shot using a mid-range for Tour Series Mako 3. Mm -hmm. Very subtle turn on that. She gets a great shot, especially being wow. so close to that giant tree. It's mm -hmm. so easy to just flub your shot because you're psyching yourself out being right up next to that tree. 
Rebecca Cox asking for something additional from her caddy. Late change. Okay. When you know, you know. Yeah. Same shot as Deanne. Love that. Like Asking that. for that left to come in. Oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Two perfect up shots. Mm -hmm. They'll be looking at birdie threes. Absolutely. And I haven't seen Jessica play much, but her game is super smooth. Mm -hmm. Long look here for birdie. Just a little left there. Deanne Carey for birdie. And she gets it. Boy, oh boy. Count it. Another one. That's four so far. Deanne Carey, our current leader here after uh, her putt on hole five. Sitting at four under par. Mm -hmm. You two had a, a nice battle just a couple weekends ago at Down East. We did. It's fun to have you back on the card again for another one. It is fun. Solid putt there. Jessica's fast. You can't tell probably from here, but I'm sure you're going to notice that throughout the round. She just steps up, lines up her shot, and goes. I like it. Absolutely. Becca cans her birdie putt. Nicely played. That's the first birdie of the round for Rebecca Cox. She is now sitting under par. That brings us to hole six. This is a fun one, par three, 243 feet. Really a forehand or a slight turnover shot from the tee box itself. You see that wall of trees, you need to beat those, and then you've got a few more guardians surrounding the green that can stop your disc from really getting too close to the basket. But really, if you're getting anything around 200, 225 feet towards the pin here, you should have a good look for the birdie. And Carrie starting us off. Is that two inside? She sends an invader. Never mind, it's perfect. Right through the gap, <laughs> and she's got a birdie putt. Yeah. And this looks very much like the upshot Rebecca just did. Yeah. It was a bit offline. She's kicked to the left. You're taking that inside line as well. And boy, circle's edge it looks like, right by one of those tassels. Jessica Beckett hits the gap and she'll be up there about 35 feet putting mm -hmm. for birdie. Nicely done there by Rebecca with that Halloween slammer once again. Beckett from 35. Let's go, oh, Beckett. It. Left side. Another run back. All right. Let's see it. Oh, I love her foot position. Look at that. Absolutely. Beautiful technique. Drops it in the left hand side. Very cool, too. <laughs> Long look. Just a little right side, it looks like. Had the height. Mm. A little low there for Deanna. You've got this comeback. Beautiful. That's something that I think amateurs 
really need to kind of focus in on just keeping your focus and keeping your <laughs> faculties about you when you miss a putt and then coming back and hitting that comeback. Right? That's such a key to avoiding double bogeys and triples and taking those big numbers. And Jessica with uh, the only birdie there. Mm -hmm. Great job, Jess. Hole seven, par three, 263 feet. This is a very tricky hole. I feel like it sets up more favorable for a strong sidearm. The right hand, backhand turnover is kind of blocked by this V tree here. Um, especially if you swing it out wide and high. You can try to hit the gap, but you also flirt with this inside right corner if you miss it, which isn't too bad. You can get up and down from there. But parking this for a two, it takes some skill. Beckett with the turnover, Heiser flip, oh, and she hits that corner. Oh, so close. It almost feels like with a sidearm, you can get away with more of a mistake I than agree. you can on the turnover. Deanne, ooh, right in front of the V tree through the corner. Oh. And she just avoids it all mm -hmm. up there putting for birdie. There's also this road on the right, which is very busy and can definitely kind of affect your concentration. And there is that blocker mm -hmm. V tree. So no Anheuser for Rebecca. She is denied. I sort of just do a hyzer flip and maybe it gets to the basket. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was ex excited because I like to aim for the cameraman. My friend Conrad never want to hit him, but he just stands in such great positioning. Rebecca with a beautiful Annie turnover and she'll be up there putting for par. Another I'm just going to call her Jessica Smooth Beckett. Yeah, just a nice floaty, controlled approach again. Are you going middle here, right side, left side? Oh, that side. I chose the biggest gap that huh? required the least amount of shaping. Smart. Long look here for Deanne, fighting off the mosquitoes. If you ever come to Splinter City Disc Golf Course and you see yourself in the back swatting them. Ooh, oh, just off, off the, the top. top. Uh, bring a can or seven of uh, bug spray because they are everywhere. They just flew in front of the camera. Rebecca with nice a killer putt. par save. Very nicely done. <laughs> yeah, I it. had people asking to borrow my bug spray, and my answer was, yes, but save me a little. <laughs> and Deanne Carey cleans up her par putt here on hole seven. And unfortunately, nobody on this card got a birdie here on hole seven. This is just a difficult hole to actually get an inside the circle putt on. Yeah, no birdies on this card, no birdies in the field. Oof. We played just over par at 3.07. Well, we'll see you on the final day, hole seven, mm -hmm. for another chance. A nice par for yourself there. Spectators in the back fighting off the mosquitoes. They are everywhere. Hole eight, par three, 320 feet. You wanna throw something straight towards the telephone or light pole there on your left-hand side and just have it start bending over to the left towards this actual green here. As long as you can beat that corner, you can give yourself a look for the birdie putt. You do get a bit of ground play here as this, for some reason, this sand area here is a bit more packed down than on the rest of the course. So you can see a bit more ground play here. Jessica hits the main fairway looking for a strong left finish to give herself a putt. Ooh, perfect shot. Beautiful. Perfect shot. Never in any danger there, always in the center. Deanne pushing 
inside of that corner line. Oh, Ooh, even better. Inside the circle for wow. Deanne Carey. She'll have about an eight footer. Strong shot from Rebecca Cox. She sneaks through the corner past the bushes. Mm -hmm. She'll have about a 55 foot look at it. Can get a nice late turn on that. It just gets a little tickle from the cabbage, but inside the circle. Like it with a soft approach there. Jessica Beckett for birdie. Oh. Slight left, mm -hmm. a little high, drops out. Birdie putt for you on the way and connects. And Deanne Carey capturing another birdie here on hole eight. Rebecca Cox steps in looking to clean up her par, as does Jessica Beckett. So two birdies and two pars. Everybody getting strokes on the field. This played above par at 3.14. Only three birdies on the day. We saw two of them. And Cassandra... Loy. Hey, thank you. Great job, I was going to butcher Cassandra. that name. <laughs> A friend from the Maple Hill area. Okay. With that, Deanne Carey still in the lead. Check out our Patreon crew if you haven't already. Starting at just $3 a month. You get access to monthly podcasts, weekly and monthly giveaways. I'm sorry, <laughs> monthly and quarterly giveaways. We'd go out of business if it was weekly giveaways for $3. <laughs> Check us out at patreon.com slash acerunpro. Here we are on hole nine, par three, 285 feet. This is a nice turnover shot where you can kind of see the basket through the corner. It's easy to punch your shot straight and end up in the woods. It's also easy to turn it over too hard and end up short in the right corner. This again requires uh, fine angle control as well as reading, reading the wind properly because it's often breezy down by the screen, which can really affect the finishing flight of your disc. Nice high turnover from Deanne and it's cooking right. Oh boy. And she is inside the circle yet again. She's carving up some lines on this front nine. She sure is. <laughs> Getting some love from you there. Oh, that needs to bend a little quicker. Oh, fights its way through though. Some favorable Bush kicks. Absolutely. <laughs> I love seeing the finish flight of things. Yeah. <laughs> and Jessica Beckett doing her hyzer flip turnover. And as we've seen in past, I know it's going to finish left, mm -hmm. giving her a longer look at birdie. She needs a disc that just finishes to the right a little bit. Yeah, this, the beginning of the flight's perfect, but it just it fights is. out a bit. It does. And Rebecca Cox Ooh. with a turnover. And like I mentioned, that one cut a little early into that corner. And Rebecca, I've noticed that she isn't going for anything long. Yeah. Nothing. She is laying up all of it. Beckett for two. Ooh, just a bit short there. Good it effort. Looked a little timid. Yeah. Oh, Banks at home left side for the birdie. Taking advantage of the good uh, break there from the uh, tree kick. And Deanne Carey getting another birdie here on hole nine. Six down to the front, wow. Six birdies. Good putt. Rebecca Cox cleaning up her par. As does Jessica. I 
I'd say that was a pretty incredible front nine here at the Splinter City Disc Golf Course. It's a lot of birds. It really is. It some is. good shot shaping, some good putts. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Absolutely. It has been so fun watching uh, my teammate Deanne Carey just shred it out here. Yeah, you're not too far behind. Only three shots off the lead so far. I'm moving into the back there. You see the current leaderboard at the turn. We've got plenty more action coming your way on the back nine of the Myrtle Beach Open here. Big thank you to the Myrtle Beach Disc Golf Club and all of the spotters and volunteers that make an event like this happen. Check us out at Ace Run Pro on all our socials. Check out Holly Finley on her socials. O Finale Finley on Instagram. There you go. And as always, a thank you to our Patreon supporters for helping to make coverage like this possible. We will check you out on the back nine.